There's a high school teacher in Bolivia. She was molesting somebody. Right? Oh my god, that's what you want this to be? That's yeah. what it always is. Yeah. That's the JK fucking formula. Not, not, not when I'm hosting. Don't brand us the formula. <laughs> There's a teacher, yeah, molestation. I'm not, yeah, no, you're not gonna, with me it's like sexual assault doesn't exist. Oh, that's cool, man. Just I don't pick murder. those articles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a high school sex ed teacher in Bolivia. Mm. Oh, okay. getting, getting warmer. Like... Getting warmer. Getting warm. She's facing termination right now because of something she, something she did. Was she Bolivious? <laughs> <laughs> Define that word right now, Toy. Think of how do you think of this? <laughs> She's so Bolivious, dude. <laughs> in a Bolivian. That's amazing. I can't believe it. It's like a moment of silence. <laughs> All right, so she assigned she assigned homework to the male students in her class. What do you think she asked them to do? Go home and fuck a cow. Oh, I don't that's know. what they do in Bolivia. So Bolivia. Go home and like play with yourself. Yeah, probably play with yourself so you get to know your anatomy or whatever. Kind of close. Get more specific though. Oh. Finger yourself in a butthole. She wanted them to bring something to class the next day. The bring jizz. <laughs> Are you Pipe fucking kidding me? She asked the male students me? of the class to bring a condom filled with their cum. Uh, dude, what? I called it. Wait, Tie so off your condom, bro. Reason? So what was her reason? Her so that reason. she could fucking IV that shit. So they could <laughs> look at it in <laughs> vitro, <laughs> baby. And this is her reasoning, okay? It's not gonna make sense, but her reason is that she wanted to illustrate and like uh, teach the class how long sperm can like survive outside of your body. That's a pretty cool experience. In order to tell girls like, hey, like be, you still have to be careful even if the cum is on a different thing. So it's like, if you're getting a pearl necklace and he's busting on your chest, yeah. ladies, be careful, that shit is still- It's still like, live around. It's active, yeah. yeah. That was her like lesson plan. She could've just fucking said that. She could've right. just said that. Instead of bring your cums, I'm gonna- But how was she gonna even prove that it's <laughs> still it, alive? Yeah. We don't know because it, it didn't get that far. And now like, suddenly every guy's gotta think to themselves, all right, let me bust in this condom and then I gotta like, Tie it and oh, fucking like put gentleman. it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Like what the fuck? What's yeah, the way that she was expecting it to happen? Nah, then you cut you cut the condom yeah. and then you get the little slide, the microscope the slide. Condom? You take the little You mean a little petri stuff? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and it. then you put it on the slide, you put the other one on top, the and you put it on the microscope, and then you look. And you but you gotta got first get the little like turkey turkey juicer. Yeah, the yeah. baster, the mini baster. And is it even baster. sanitary? Like the they don't even no. know how to do it right. You're just going <laughs> to school with a bag of fucking cum? Yeah, literally, and it's weird because it like homework. it's only homework for the guys, so it's like I think I would be more That's mad sexist. about that. But as a that kid. is so sexist, you guys. <laughs> hey, you know what though? I'll be like, what the girls don't get any homework? Hey, no. <laughs> you know when you do that as a kid? That's a sweet assignment. That's the first place your mind goes. No, the girls have work; they have to help the guys. Yeah. Group project. Lab partners. You know Lab mean? partners. You're a good girl. teacher. You're a good teacher, dude. dude. Equal opportunity. That's true. Uh, man, I, I don't. Anthony you know teacher. what would be homework? Like great homework. The guy has to help the girl, oh. so they know how to make them come. Oh, it's true. But it's, it's harder to get that juice in the condom though, to bring to school. Hey. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get to choose our lab Debate, partner sir. and we don't get randomly assigned. Yo, oh, okay, hey, let's when that happen. If you were in high school, <laughs> if you were in high school and your sex ed teacher did say, "All right, guys, this is the homework. Don't fucking tell anybody. Find the clue. I want you to just pick a partner and just make them come." <laughs> and then do a full report and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> God damn it! Would you guys do it or would you go, Mom? I'd get the worst dude. luck because I always came late to class, <laughs> so all the groups would be paired up and I'd be sitting there and I'd get like the fucking- You'd get the teacher. I don't have a partner, Joe. I'd get the guy that didn't get picked. Yeah, there's 16 the boys guy. and 14 girls yeah. in the class. And I'd, I'd get the dude that didn't get picked, and it's like, I guess you're my partner, dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's putting on latex gloves like and this. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you might have the softest hands. Would you guys rat your teacher out? Hell no! Nah, I like cool teachers. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a fucking word. Remember I told you about my sex ed teacher in Cypress College? There was like a, a sex ed teacher, was like a white lady. She was very old, but kind of looked like a kinda MILF fine. porn star for like oh. elder porn. Okay. And then she she would always like, uh, first day of school, right? She would said, she said, uh, you know, if you guys just want to start jerking it in the middle class, I really have no opposition to that. That's and then funny. everyone laughed. We were like, ah, oh, that's funny, uh, funny teacher. And then the next day she said it again. And she was oh, like, shit. guys, again, 
if you guys feel compelled to, you know, just have an orgasm in the middle of class, I'm not. Beans. And Gosh. then like less people would laugh every day she said that. And then I'm finally dead. she was saying it and there's no one laughed. And we were just like, she just wants to see our dicks. This is crazy Literally. teacher. Shit. And then she would always remind us when office hours was and like stuff like that. Wow. We were like, dude, this is wild. But nobody took her up on it because, you know, she was a little yeah, old. Somebody, somebody, yeah, somebody had to. Yeah, or, or everybody was and just lying about it. They're yeah. Like, I wouldn't do that. Works every three semesters. Actually, teachers do some wild every shit, man. Semester. I had a drama teacher at UCLA that was pretty crazy. Like she would just like, so she was like this older like white lady and then she would, as she's like talking about the class with her, she would just start fucking walking around the classroom and then she would just like go like, like sit in like, like students laps and like, and then she'll just start talking about the syllabus and like, mm. oh? you guys understand what the project is? Just like crazy shit like that. I could that? I could almost understand how that might But you also kinda go, I understand I kinda understand like it's in the scope of this art or creativity. Yeah, like if it was a math oh, teacher, I'd be like, there's a problem here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For that it's like how much is that is is, is for her pleasure <laughs> yeah. and how much of that is actually getting people used to like this environment. Yeah, being comfortable like on a stage or something, you know? Did I, did I tell crazy. you guys about all pissed off? Nah. That Wait, the fucking DVD? You know what I'm talking about? You were you you know this DVD. No, I only know that because I remember like in early 2000s, I remember like your friends were fucking joking about this DVD. Okay, so basically we had we had a class at UCI called Sociology 69. Right, so 69, yeah, it's it's like basically- Real mature actual, UCI. Yeah. Our actual <laughs> sex class, right? But it was in one of those fucking auditoriums, like a big hall, it's a huge class. Yeah. Everybody, as an elective, like people always want to take it because it's just yeah. really fun, right? Yeah. yeah, super easy. And then one of the weeks out of this 10 week course, they have like spankies uh, come in to like display like toys and like DVDs and stuff and they just talk about the adult industry. Blah, blah, it's blah, right? sponsored by them. And I'm like, could be. Sure. me and my homies from, from fucking CADC, we're always in the back just like sleeping and shit, right? Because we always have like rehearsal and stuff. And then I remember Spankies comes in and then suddenly they're like, we're gonna get our free DVDs. So they start chucking these DVDs. And I'm literally like fucking halfway past out in the back and one and way in the back, like that last row. And this thing just hits me in the chest. I'm like, oh fuck, right? And I pick it up and it's just like, right on the corner. <laughs> Ryan's cracking up because he knows what I'm talking about. And it's fucking, it's called, it says all pissed off, volume 14. And it's just Whoa, girls geez. just fucking peeing everywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, all five, pissed off. Five, five. No, that's I'm dead. That's wild. Man. Now, as, as college kids, though, you know, We're like, like this is great. This is like this is not jackal material, but this is great party material. So we for sure brought it home. And literally, I swear to God, this is why he's cracking up. Almost like every other party, just in the middle of a party, when it would get like really people are just drunk and randomness is going on. Suddenly, the TV would turn on and just people would be peeing. All pissed off. Volume. All Four? pissed off. Fourteen, yeah. dude. Oh, shit. Four or fourteen. I don't remember what it was. Wait, but. so are they peeing? It's literally just like old school porno stuff. Like cameras, like slowly coming in, and somebody's just like getting ready to urinate, and then they're literally just like opening up themselves and just like oh, it's just a girl peeing. chugging all kinds of water. It, 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 just every watch. scene is people just peeing everywhere. What if all the giveaway DVDs are the ones they couldn't sell? Yeah. Probably. So that's why they're just like. You get fucking milk sucking. You get peeing. You get caca. And then someone was like, "Ooh, I want the caca one." I just, I, like I Kelly was a part of that. Word. Oh yeah, executive producer. Yeah. I just yeah. remember, I remember the cover so well because that ended up in one of the houses I lived in. Like, uh, we, I just saw it, and then it was, it's like you know those like lowrider models that just have their ass to the camera like this, yeah. and they're squatting. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. that, but just hella piss coming out. Oh my god! That was the cover, and I was like. Was what it like yellow piss? What is this? Yeah, it was like real piss. Oh man, that's funny. Wow. And for context, that's just to catch up. Me and Ryan, um, we had like, when I was living in one house, basically all those roommates, they ended up living with Ryan the next year at the next house, but I, I graduated. Um, so like they- We inherited the DVD collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you guys went to the same uh, school, right? We had the same like circle, like the circle of friends, like a Venn diagram. So, it was like, so then the dorm situation? It was just houses oh, that we were all like, like renting rooms. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. So we're connected by all pissed off. <laughs> I haven't thought of that in like old, like decades. I haven't thought of that. So I was like, do you remember all pissed off? I just remember everyone was laughing because they were like, there's 14 of these? Possibly more? <laughs> Possibly more. There's for sure more, dude. Yeah. They have one every six months. EP is R. Kelly, dude. It's very successful.